What's up guys, Xbox Mod 360 here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get inside the Tequila La nightclub in Grand Theft Auto 5 online. So for those of you who haven't seen it before, it's this giant three-story nightclub that you can't normally access in Grand Theft Auto 5 online. I'm pretty sure it's the nightclub that you're in after one of the heist missions, and it's also the nightclub that you play the adversary game mode every bullet counts in. So it's just this really big, really cool, really detailed nightclub in Grand Theft Auto 5 online and when you get into it you're going to see how cool it is. There's tons of detail. If I hadn't killed everybody you'd see there's a bunch of people that are hanging out and dancing and stuff like that. So I do know this glitch works on next gen, I'm not sure about last gen, and all you're going to need to do this is you're going to need to have a rhino tank. You can either own your own or you can go get one from the military base or use a friends, but you will need a rhino tank. So to start this, you're going to go to Play Jobs, Rockstar Created, Adversary Mode, and you're going to go to the job called Every Bullet Counts 3. So once you get into this job, it doesn't matter if you're the host or if somebody else is hosting, but all you got to do is just play it under any settings. And this game mode takes place inside the Tequila La Bar. So you will get a look at the inside of this bar before you actually go into it in free mode. So you're just going to select whatever settings you want, you're going to start it up, and you're just going to play through the match. And then once you're done, you're going to be taken to the voting screen, and from there you're just going to select free mode, and you're just going to wait until the voting ends and you get put into free mode. Don't back out at this part, just select free mode and wait until the voting ends. So basically the purpose of doing that was to spawn up the interior of this building in a free mode session. So once you spawn back down in the free mode session, you're then just going to get that tank that I mentioned before, and you're going to bring it to the Tiki La La bar. So the location of that nightclub slash bar is right here on the map, and try not to run over cars and get a wanted level with the tank because that will make things a lot tougher. But basically what you're doing is you're angling this tank in a certain way so that you can use it to wall breach into the building. And a lot of you have seen this before in other videos. It's not that hard to do, but it can be a little tough. You're going to want to try to match up the corner of your tank with this spot that I point to right over here. And when you push the corner of your tank up against this spot, you also want to leave a small little crack in between the tank and the building that you can run into that will push you into the building. I'll show you guys in a second what I'm talking about. So you're just going to take your tank and you're going to push it up against that spot. And it doesn't have to be perfect. There's a bunch of different ways you can do this. It will take you more than one try. I can almost guarantee that because this is kind of the toughest part of the glitch. But once you think you have it in a spot that you like and you think you've kind of matched up the corner of your tank with that spot I showed you and you've left a little wedge in between the tank and the building, you're then going to hop down into this wedge and you're going to kind of run towards that little crack. So this part probably will take you at least 10 or 15 minutes. For me, it took me 20 minutes. You're just going to kind of have to re-angle your tank in different ways. If it doesn't work, you're going to have to get out of your tank and kind of move it a little bit. But you're basically just going to keep trying to run into this crack. And sometimes you can do what I just did right there where you take cover along the side of your tank to go in further. But once you've done it right, it will push you into the building and then you're all set. So I'm going to show you guys another clip of me doing that. You may need to move a dumpster that's in this place when you do angle your tank. And just try to angle it the way I angled mine in this video. It will take you a couple tries before you find the perfect spot. But once you do, you'll be able to run right into the building. So before I explore the inside of this club, I do want to show you two things that can also happen while you're doing this glitch. If you did something incorrectly with the first part of this glitch where you play that game mode, then the interior won't be spawned up and you'll just fall right through the map like this. And another thing that happened to me a couple times while I was doing this is that I actually wall breached into the tank instead of the building. That was kind of cool. It's kind of cool to stand inside of that tank, but it does get kind of annoying when it happens too much. But if this does happen to you a lot, then just move your tank into a different angle or something like that to avoid it happening over and over. But anyways, I'm going to show you guys the interior of this nightclub now. Like I said, there's going to be tons of people in here and lots of detail and a bartender and everything. It's probably the most detailed little secret area in Grand Theft Auto 5 online free mode that I've ever been in. And if you wanted to come in here with a friend, then you're probably going to have to go into the same every bullet counts game mode as them. And then you guys both just hit free mode on the voting screen afterwards. Doing that should put you guys both in the same free mode lobby and that should spawn up the interior of this building for both of you. So from there, you would both just have to wall breach into here and then you'd be all set. And this right here is that third floor I was talking about. The floor I was just on is the normal base floor. Uh, I call it the second floor because there's a basement below it. There's a lot of detail in this building. And this is a building that I personally really hope that they open up to the public. Just because of how cool it would be to hang out in here. 
Just the fact that we are able to do a glitch and then get in here in a free mode lobby that other people are in just roaming around just a normal lobby and we could be in here without breaking the game. That just shows that they have the possibility to open this up to the public. They're just choosing not to for whatever reason. So I really hope sometime in the near future Rockstar opens up these entrances like that door I was just at because in the adversary game mode those doors actually work and you can walk in and out of this building. It's just in free mode they're all locked and you have to wall breach just to get inside of here. So I really hope Rockstar steps it up and does that for us. And right down here I'm going to show you guys that basement I was talking about. There's a pool table and a couple games and unfortunately none of the stuff in here is interactive. You can't buy a drink at the bar or use the pool table or use any of the games. That would be even cooler if that stuff actually worked. So this is a big area for potential for Rockstar. There's a lot that can be done with this building. They can really make this one of the coolest hangout spots in the game if you could like sit down at these couches and watch people play pool, stuff like that play darts on that board right there they just have a really really lot of potential right here that they're not using so i really hope they step it up but anyways that's all for this video on how to get inside the tequila la nightclub slash bar in grand theft auto 5 online if you found this video helpful in any way hit that like button below and if you're new to our channel hit that subscribe button for more amazing grand theft auto 5 glitches just like this and as always guys thank you for watching from xbox mod 360